Welcome to chapter two of Lexi's Lantern, the first search. The market was a maze of stalls selling so many things, bright sundresses and purses, Buddha-shaped decorations, racks and racks of shiny earrings, and unusual fruit drinks. Lexi's mother wanted to stop for a foot massage, but Lexi wanted to keep going. Go with Malay then, her mom said, as she settled into a massage chair. Come back here in one hour, then we'll check them all. Malay, will you take me where the octopuses are? asked Lexi. Yes, there are some tanks over there, Malay said, and they set off. Far across the market, they came upon a stall selling frozen fish and squids, plus tanks full of live crabs and a small octopus. Lexi saw an old woman cleaning fish and a man standing by the crabs. Malay, can you ask him if he's seen the watch? Malay put her hands together and bowed her head. She said something like, saw wa di ka to the man. They spoke in Thai. No, he hasn't seen the watch, Malay told Lexi. The stall next door sold coconut shells filled with ice and colorful bits. What are those things, Lexi asked. They're called nam kong sai. They're like snow cones with fruit, said Malay. Try the mango. This is delicious, Lexi said. She felt her adventure was turning into many discoveries. What was that word you said to the seafood lady when you put your hands together? Asked, asked Lexi. Sawati ka, said Malai. Sawati ka, Lexi repeated slowly. It's a polite way to say hello, said Malay. And we will then read chapter three. The second search. Lexi and Malay met Me Lexi's mom and took a taxi to the mall. Motorcycles zipped around their taxi. Then one motorcycle pulled over to the sidewalk. A girl hopped onto the seat behind the man, driving it, and away they went. Oh no, cried Lexi. That girl rode away with a stranger. Malay laughed. No, that was a motorbike taxi. I ride them to school every day. Doesn't it scare you? Asked Lexi. They go so fast. Lexi imagined riding a motorcycle. Maybe it was fun, she thought. Look, Malay said. That river is called Chao Phraya. Then, as they passed shops overflowing with flowers, she said, Look at the, all those pretty purple and white orchids. They saw a small crowd of women sitting next to piles of banana leaves. Two women braided the leaves together into small bowls. The others decorated the bowls with orchids. <laughs>